We are live. Welcome. This is Capturing the Machine stream. Um, I am joined by my toughest critic, <laughs> Daniel Sloan. Um, um, you may know from the no, 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 you don't get to talk yet. Oh, okay. uh, you may know from the M3 Brew video. Um, I needed some some eye candy to join me on this initial stream. This is sort of a test. So um, I wanted to go through my old Flickr photos. This was going to be like a video. And then I was like, why put all that effort into the production of that when this would be just like more real and uh, instinctual and everything. And uh, so welcome, Daniel, and all of you. Thank you. I'm honored to be on capturing the the stream, if you will. <laughs> um, did you use Flickr back in the day? I think I did, and I there. I mean, between Facebook photo albums and like having a Facebook photography page that people could like, and um, 500 pics and I'm just trying to think of all like you kind of had to put your stuff everywhere but I don't think I was using Flickr back when there was a lot more of that collaborative community element to it yeah so these pictures like so when I got into cameras and stuff it started shooting cars it was like 2008 9 it was like Flickr was very dominant and it was and I used it in the same deranged terrible way that I use Instagram where I'm just like very meticulous and perfectionist and I only and I obsess over what I put there and I post rarely but I think it's all great you know right. and I thought this stuff was all great so the stuff that we're going to go through and stuff yet. that I thought <laughs> and yet and yet I mean I had I had my own views on photography and um that fueled a lot of my editing <laughs> choices sure. I mean, I really, I was really, I really did not like the like straight out of the camera look. And yeah. I felt like that the post-production was so important. You know, I felt like I, I almost didn't value the shot as much as just like the edit for some period of my life, of maybe mm -hmm. a couple of years. I felt that the the edit was like how you, because I, because I, a lot of the photography that I was exposed to was like on design blogs and stuff that had some photography element. And so it's like, People that a lot of the people that were influences are people that were not necessarily the best photographers, but great with computers and design right. suites and stuff. So like that's right. kind of how you can get to that. So uh, should we hop right into my my Flickr? I've saved well, like a couple tabs. And yeah, we, uh, before you do that, I just just to set the scene for for anyone watching. Oh God. In two thousand eight, you are twenty five years old. Hey, don't give away my age. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You've just you've just purchased a Nikon D sixty forty. D40. I had a forty. I think I had the forty for like six months, and okay. then I got the the D ninety. And okay. when I got the D ninety, I got the the fifty one point eight because you needed a camera with the motor in it. It's a whole right. stupid Nikon thing, um, which the forty didn't have. So it was like I could you know I could finally use that lens, which I guess would be equivalent to like 85 on, uh, because it was a, a crop. Yeah. 75. Yeah. And did you, um, did you shoot raw then also? I, I did sometimes. Um, I didn't always like, I was like, didn't have a lot of money. So I was like, my memory cards and yeah. storage was like a, a thing. I mean, the cards seemed like just as expensive as now or more, but mm -hmm. the storage was a lot less. So, uh, All right. yeah. Okay. All right. And, and you're living in 2008. You're living in. I was living in New York. New York. Okay. Didn't have a car. Um, so the only cars I would shoot would be like at a car show or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So this is my Flickr feed. We'll put a link in the thing. I can just put it in the in the chat right now. But um, it's. Yeah, I read it and weep. Um, so I, I, this was my magenta processing phase, which, uh, yeah, like I said, okay, so this one, I think this was like when I was about to leave New York was like, I, I had this 10 to 20 lens, which is a lens that I absolutely hate now. And I also hated how I edited this, like it's so like HDR without being HDR and the, the 
angles, like the, you know, the, the perspective, I'll give it that the perspective is like not common. Yeah. But I've, <laughs> like, but not done well, there's a reason why that perspective isn't common because no car looks flattering from that angle. I don't know. You get the rear meats, you get the yeah. half of the muffler. It, this like, it should have been tilted more up or something. We didn't have foldy screens then. That's true. Um, yeah. Yeah. And you're, so you're, anything... Your caption is good too, grip, because you know oh, you're, yeah. you're focusing on the. I believe those are the Michelin Pilot Sport all season Call those meats. Tires. Call those meats in the biz. Yeah. Uh, this was October 2009. That was right before, around when I left New York or a couple months before. Okay. This was, man, this, I, I picked this because it just, like, I hate it a lot. <laughs> but it's, um, this was my, my Z. That I had, but what's bad is that it's like shot into the sun. You know, I think that's one of the things is like, if you have to shoot at noon, excuse me. But look at the shadow. It's not noon. It's like seven. It is not seven. You look at the shadow. Okay, all right. It's not Unless noon. That's an oil slick from no. From the it's car. the shadow. It's not noon, but it's like four. Okay. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. The, okay. The, the sun is still like I'm shooting into the sun, which is still yeah. high ish in the sky. I think sure. that the wide angle is making this shadow look longer than it okay. is. Okay. It's fine. just, it's so muddy. Like the, the editing just. Well, you took the clarity slider and dragged it all the way to maximum clarity. You know, that's like the, the faux sharpening slider. Yeah. Oh, I was really you into sharpness. Touched. You haven't touched that in, in 10 years, probably, but... I was really into sharpness. I thought it made things look real sharp. So the... I was doing... I would actually do, like... Because I think I used Bridge still at the time, which I still live by. But yeah. I think I was even... For my photos that were, like, the good ones that were going to get published on, on Flickr.com, <laughs> uh, I think for those, like, I was doing, like, a like a high pass overlay. Oh. Um, and, and so it was like, I did all these in like Photoshop and I had this, this high pass nonsense. And I was really, I really liked that. Okay. Let's go to the next one. This was, this was like 2000. Well, I also, I, I also want to comment on, I mean, this photo does it too. Like, yeah. like a, a complete disregard for white balance <laughs> at all. Like I didn't understand white balance. And that's something I noticed a lot is the, the white balance, like like I'll have a bunch of photos from like Laguna Seca, and the color is all bad on yeah. all of them. Like the, like it was a set, but they weren't consistent at all. This one, what bothers what bothered me? I mean, we, basically, this the edit is the same as the last one, and it's bad. Mm -hmm. This was at the Delorean factory, and I luckily I think I've gone back, and the photos that weren't terrible all shot with like a ten to twenty. The ones that are decent are like I I re-edited some to be less harsh. Luckily, mm -hmm. they're recoverable this one i mean when i look at it what i hate is like the um it's like stupid that this is what bothers me but like how nothing is straight up and down it's so warped it's so distorted and uh and yeah. then there's like all this floor well like i shot it 10 to 20 for no reason and then i didn't even like point it correctly right and you could have corrected the horizon in post yeah and you can also it, see, you can see like what you were trying to shoot, which is probably like the interesting texture of the car cover. Cause if, yeah. like, if you were up close on that, that could actually result in an interesting photo. Yeah. I think I got more of that car cover maybe, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think I was trying to get that whole row of just like the vastness, but I just mm -hmm. totally, Missed the mark. All right, we're gonna close this tab. We, we have a, a question about the white balance uh, from Scout okay. or Zen. Um, so yeah, the essentially, j at least from my perspective, in both the DeLorean photo and the Z photo, a combination of like the desaturation with who knows, maybe even like a poorly calibrated monitor or something. Cause 10 years. I ago, mean, that's beyond that. That's beyond <laughs> monitor calibration. That's like <laughs> brain calibration. Yeah. Badness. Um, yeah. Um, there, it's just not a natural white balance for what the setting is. So, you know, outdoors yeah. in the sun, like it's, it's probably going to be a little warmer 
and yeah. indoors and under fluorescent lighting in an industrial setting, like maybe it's a more neutral thing, but um, it looks like that was just kind of thrown out the window and um, yeah. <laughs> yes. but, it, but, but also the brightness, yes, like with, with um, Kevin's editing, like he, he either added brightness or too much love contrast, this so much. <laughs> which, which, which blows out the highlights. And so like uh, yeah. major portions of the photo are just pure white. Well, you, you really were into, or I mean, not you, the, the style of that time was really like uh, that, that desaturated, almost, almost grayscale, mm -hmm. high contrast, high clarity was, uh, was popular. Like I'm it was sure really cool some, at that time. I'm sure I have some of you. my own photos that, uh, yeah. that look like that. Maybe I can find some before the end of this, just to, just for, I, uh, miseration. So this, this one, this Mercedes one, I actually think this one's kind of good ish, except for the color grading, which I was using like Lightroom and this was 2012. This was still in a period where I really was like, I just don't want it to look like straight out of the camera. I yeah. want to have my own color spin on it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I like the perspective and everything. I don't know why I, I called that out in case this got too brutal. I was like, Hey, I did some good ones. Okay. This one, 2008, this car, I didn't realize till I was looking at it now that it's a G50, which is cool, but mm -hmm. it's, uh, I love this brown Carrera that was in New York. I would see it all the time. I shot it several times. This was like the first picture I used like strobes on. Like okay. I literally it had someone cute. hold the light <laughs> and I just shot this car on the street. And I was like, wow, that's cool. Cause it looked so different than it looked in real life. Like this yeah. was why I was kind of fascinated with strobes for a couple of years was because it's like in real life, it didn't look like this at all, you know? And then you see this thing on the screen and it's like, oh, that's, that's cool. I'm going to move on unless you have something to add. Let's move on. All right. I mean, other than like the bad composition and whatever, you know. Yes. Well, <laughs> and shooting with it at 10 millimeters. Hey, <laughs> yes, yes. This one I got just because I was like, man, if I if I were to do this now, like I would edit it so different. Like the I would not let there be anything <laughs> living in the shadow there. <laughs> I would, but I mean that color, that bluish color in the shadow in the, like where the white is in shadow is so nasty. I don't understand how this photo is both. I don't know what like I was doing as far as presets. I don't know how this is both too warm and too blue at once. Right. I guess it's just like <laughs> tons of contrast and saturation. Um, Did you, do you, you wouldn't have, like the original file still, right? I might not, since this was a trip and I was like, I'm going to be shooting hundreds of photos and I've only better got this JPEG. four. Yeah, better shoot JPEG. I've only got this four gig card. And also I wasn't really like making them, well, I was making the worst of the the raw files. Maybe <laughs> maybe it would have like, shooting. The, maybe the JPEG would, would have saved me because I wouldn't be able to do as much. Yeah. Um, okay, what else? This one, again, I don't like the color, but I like the, the composition, kind of. I still think it's kind of neat. Yeah, I think... I don't know I why I the, that in there. A minor quibble would be, like, it looks like you just focused on the thing in the middle of the frame. Yeah. And, and you probably could have composed it better. Or cropped you it also, too. Yeah. You also yeah. look at the, like, shadowy halo around the 19. <laughs> Oh like that's, that's, yeah, that's from, that's, that's from cranking the clarity like all the way up. Oh yeah, it cranked. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You especially on the red part that exactly. is up there. Yeah, exactly. Because you know why? You know, I was looking at like the rivets and the the like gravel, like the rock in the tires, and I'm like, oh, I want those to pop. Let me turn it up, turn it up, and then I didn't even look, and I didn't even see this until uh, 13 years later. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, this one, I called this one out because again, it's like, it's so blue and I don't know. I mean, it's like a f okay photo. Like it's not a very good panning shot because um, I didn't shoot very open. Does it say what the, oh, no, that it doesn't crop have too. That crop. Yeah. I mean, like you have that's half probably of the car at the top of the frame. Oh yeah. That's bad. Yeah. I was looking at this car obviously, but yeah, it's a, uh, but I don't understand why it's so blue. Like I would warm this up. I would even desaturate the blue from everything except the Domino's logo just to make it like warmer and mm -hmm. uh, better to my eye and my aesthetic. And I don't know, it was like not even a consideration for me. I mean, that, that's like, that's camera 
like JPEG processing and and a camera's raw files have come a really really long way in 10, 11, 12 years and like shadows just like you know maybe they just like were bad <laughs> maybe they were bluish but i mean look then. at the highlight like the highlights like the windows like that white yeah i mean the white the stripe on the side of the car is is bluish yeah. and it and it is in shadow you're right but i have um, i have a theory i think you i think you increased the saturation overall and then like yeah. pulled the red back I don't think so. Cause if I was going to pull anything back, see, I don't know. Again, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't a technical limitation. It was like, my brain was like, hmm, this looks good. <laughs> this is fine. Um, all right. Are we ready to go on? You go on. Okay. This was like, I went to an auto show and I got my 50 with my 51.8 that we talked about. I think we talked about that before, mm -hmm. uh, going online, but, um, yeah, it's uh I like all that detail and stuff. Yeah. I don't know if this was bad. I think I just wanted to show this to explain my process. Just too for... too much. I mean, the the composition is kind of lazy and and I think you jacked up the contrast way too high. Oh, and the clarity. Look at the yeah, like, this, shadow. That's ugh, man. Yeah. See, I it wasn't even clarity. Like I said, it was probably the high pass. And again, uh -huh. the thing I was doing I know this because I actually have one. I have like a crop of this because the crop is cool that there's five seconds. Like, oh, there. Hey, that's super weird. <laughs> that That is an ad for the thing we're using. Okay. Well, I cannot uh, see the thing, but I have like a crop of this that's like extra tight and you see that detail in the reflector and it's mm -hmm. cool. And again, so I, what I was doing was like looking at the parts that look cool with more clarity and, and high pass and then not looking at the bad things because I just didn't know to look. All right. This one was at that same event. And I thought this was cool that there was like these primary colors and stuff. I mean, it was at an auto show. Where there was a lot of people around like, oh, I don't know what's going on with the bottom of that though. Like the bottom of the frame is so weird. <laughs> it's the vignette. It's the vignette. I was, I was vignetting. Yeah. I was look vignetting at the top. The, the top is, is very vignette-y also. Yeah. See, these are all good things, I thought. <laughs> okay. This one I thought was pretty good. I liked this. I don't I don't really know, know if I would focus on a chain link fence now, but I thought it was cool. I'm sorry I put in ones that I thought were good. And I'm like, hey, I was in the right here. <laughs> um, I just, this car is just so cool. Like, <laughs> not, not even aside from the photo, this car is like at Monterey, uh, Monterey Reunion, like a lot. And it's God, just all these rock chips are just so cool that it's so driven and worn in and the tape and everything. Um, oh, did you have anything to say about the photo? Um, it doesn't seem too offensive to me. Okay, that's high praise from Daniel Slim. <laughs> this, I love how this was this orange thing at the top was like naturally occur occurring. I thought that was cool. Oh, that wasn't like one of those iPhone that apps? That was not that a filter. That was like a real legit thing. Okay. This, uh, nothing is sharp. <laughs> I maybe, yeah, what's the focus point on that? I don't know. I don't know. Like maybe this edge of the steering wheel, if I were to look at 100%, is maybe sharp. Like the, yeah. the marks in the steering wheel on this part. But like the center isn't sharp. Like the glass isn't maybe sharp. The... the shifter isn't sharp. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere on the steering wheel. Somewhere on the steering wheel. Yeah. I'll get it next time. This one... Boy, this is that same car. Is that Again, an iPhone like, photo? No, I don't think so. You... I don't think so. I mean, it looks uh, it looks like it. I think I edited my D ninety photo to be worse than an iPhone photo, and and to be a four three aspect ratio. You and your aspect ratios, my God. Okay, <laughs> why is this bad? Well, I mean, for all the same reasons as as the other photos, but um, I mean, it's just you know, it's just a taking. It's just a car on the street. It's not like a creative photo. Yeah, but even a car on the street, you could you have almost, like you almost you could have your parallel. Like the parallels are not lined up right or anything. I mean, the parallels are not straight up and down. Like the perspective's weird. Right, just you're, standing you're there. holding the camera standing up like this. 
Yeah. You, and yeah. then the, I think that, but I think the coloring and the shooting like into, into the sun, like there's a time of day when you could shoot into the sun and I don't think, and, and this is not it. Like <laughs> I, I just, I, I, the clarity also. I guess. Well, yeah, that's, that's a given. <laughs> it was the style of the time. It was 2009. Um, okay. Let's go. Oh man. This is like exactly the same except worse. It, you really liked shooting into the sun. See, I didn't, it didn't even occur to me. That's what I was doing. Like, I think it was just like, well, I like this perspective of the car. Well, what happened too is like from the other direction, the sun creates a hot spot on the car, which at the time you probably didn't like because you were trying to get like the whole car, you know? Yeah. I, that doesn't, I mean, the colors on this are so bad and it's, I was shooting again. I had my 10 to 20 millimeter lens and <laughs> that was dangerous. Uh, Looks that like was you're not, trying to get the 996 in there too. Maybe in the ISF and the rest of the world. Cause it was 10 <laughs> millimeters. Um, this is like, I was being artsy. I, nothing is sharp except for one and a half of these letters. And then the letters are right on the edge. At least the, the coloring is not like the color is not offensive to me. The, the car uh, was, was actually silver. <laughs> <laughs> If it was today, you would say the car was blue and I made it look like this because I warm everything up. Um, this was during my magenta. And, uh, the overexposure was intentional and then the magenta was intentional. I, I did this thing that I thought was really cool where I was making everything like a magenta color cast, color temperature for, again, I just wanted it to look different. Okay, I think I've got one yeah, more. So, so yeah, this, the, is the, the comment, this is the comment that Arda made but he says that's a legit i bought my first prime photo <laughs> i think referring to the um what was it, an alpha the alpha gta yeah, yeah absolutely that's, um yes and i mean that's, that's literally normal. literally what happened <laughs> <It's> <laughs> shooting, a true story <laughs> shooting wide open just to look at the bokeh and and nothing else yeah pretty much so this one is, I mean, I don't hate it, the composition. I hate everything else that I, I did with it. I hate the composition. Okay, go go on. I don't. Well, I don't if like there that. wasn't a person in the car, it would be. Well, I hate I hate this edge. The right yeah, side exactly. is really bad. That's the terrible. right side's really bad. Yeah. But I was I was probably on my fifty with uh, on a crop sensor, and this was and twenty you feet back. You take yeah, you couldn't take two more steps back. That's right. So way too sharp here. Uh, there's a person cropped in there, which is weird. <laughs> um, I think that's it. I mean, we can go through what you've uh, got. Oh, look at this magenta. This is just the, the straight feet, the straight dope. But yeah. <laughs> so would you got some examples? Let me, um, another one. Let me magenta. remove the ones that we both chose. We both chose some. Um, yeah. Well, it's fine. We can. I can go through it. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just do it as as we go. Okay. Share window. All right. You ready? Um, yeah. And then and then we'll go through the. Um, oh, I gotta add your to the stream. Okay. And then we'll, we'll go through some of these comments too and see. Okay. Uh, um, I think, you know, I think we've all taken and edited a photo like this where it's like, oh yeah, I really like that Adobe preset that like cools off and desaturates everything mm -hmm. while adding a ton of contrast. Um, <laughs> yeah, what do you think, Kevin? <laughs> I don't hate the aesthetic, like it's very um, of the time, but that corner, the headlight, <laughs> the headlight in the, the top of the headlight is like maddening how, how that is cropped. Yeah. Like it's just, it's, I mean, it's like, it should have been obvious to me that that's not good. Looks like you used your 50 for that as well. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's move it along. We don't need to go into that. 
So, mm. so you went same car, but uh, <laughs> same car, same lens, same somehow, everything. Somehow the the lighting just completely switched to where the sun turned green. Yeah, so, it's kind uh, of a cross process thing. I don't know if you'd understand. <laughs> <laughs> you did focus. Yeah, you focus on the the lettering here. Thank you. Um, which I suppose was probably the right choice given the composition, the comp, yeah. if you will. Well, now I want to see that that green wheel. <laughs> yeah. I want to see more of that green wheel. I didn't know they did that from the factory. <laughs> um, this one, again, this is also falls into the... This is a prime I example. Bought, I just bought my first prime. <laughs> I, this was in like a, there was like a, get, remember there was like a Getty Flickr pool that was like, you could add photos to a Flickr pool and Getty might, like people that were, people could buy those photos for stock. Like they would contact you, like Getty would contact you and say, oh. hey, someone actually wants to buy this. And this one, someone bought this or one very similar. Okay. It's a good like generic ad photo where it's like, we don't have the rights to show anything. <laughs> Exactly. Except this looks like a Crown Vic. In the That's back. why I think it was. I think it was a different photo, but I'm not sure. Maybe this one. I don't know. That's that's my magenta period. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't this one. It was on the other street. I know where this is. This is like Meatpacking District or near Brooklyn Bridge. Okay, I don't know where this is. Um, yeah. yeah, just more more of the Boca. Uh, you know, it was. It was fun to. It's so the exposure is so high too. That yeah. was like the weird thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this, it's is, just, this is just like a decisive photo of moment. The decisive yeah. moment. Yeah, exactly. It was New, the, New York only in New York City. Baby. Oh, no, only in New York. Yeah, yeah. The the parking meter really makes this a stellar shot. Right, even though it's actually the. Uh, no turns for truck sign that's in focus. <laughs> <laughs> the cab would be in focus if uh, if it wasn't moving. Right. Well, that adds motion to the photo. So I. Dynamism. Um, this one, I almost was like, oh, that's not too bad. But you didn't focus on the shift knob. Yeah. Like this. Did I focus? Yeah. Yeah. What's this in focus? Fact, is the badge on the wheel in focus? No. Also, okay. no. It's okay, like, good, good, good. Like this, the maybe the right side of the steering wheel with the traction control button, uh, rip Paul Walker. And now we're gonna have to censor this. Wow. <laughs> um, in my defense, my so when I saw this, in my defense, the color cast came from the window and I just didn't really fix it or it got worse when I upped the saturation and contrast. The green was, the green was naturally occurring. Basically the highlights are really bad, but the, uh, I was, my first thought was like, Oh, I should, I should have, um, turned the wheel straight when I parked. And then I was like, Oh wait, I didn't park this car. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, uh, yeah, I was, you have to drive this. No, I didn't get to drive it. This is this is one of those things like, you know, I always I said we would incorporate some lessons in here. I don't think we've actually done that, but I would always have the wheel. Per, you know, you always want the wheel to be straight. And then if you're shooting an interior this in this one, you would want that shifter to be in focus because it's like a square crop and it's very dominant. But normally, you you know, you're oh, it's always a safe bet to have the steering wheel badge, the steering wheel center in focus mm -hmm. in any interior photo, even from the passenger side, because that's like where you're going to look. Makes so, sense. Good luck. Didn't do any of those things. Yeah, yeah. well, I didn't do any of that. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> do you recognize the car? It, it looks like an F355 to me. It is. Yeah, it is. Probably yeah. in Manhasset, New York, if I had to guess. Just Probably. Based on, based on the surroundings of the All right. Of the surroundings of the caption? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is first prime, and uh, the highlights are, are crazy. I wonder if in the raw, if the highlights are that bad. <laughs> I, this looks like just a, yeah, like a pure overexposure. You you can't recover it type photo. Yeah. Uh, we'll skip this one because it's along the same lines. Yeah. Of like, how quickly can I make things blur? Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> so... 
Um, still shooting into the sun. <laughs> Although I <laughs> blocked it with behind the sign. The sign. That, Put it behind I, the sign. I like doing that. Um, yeah, I do too. The, the selective saturation, though, mm. and HDR-esque mm -hmm. uh, yeah. editing is a little... I like how it becomes, like, any picture becomes a Dutch angle with a 10 millimeter lens. <laughs> Just because it's like something is going to be totally askew. Yeah. 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 You, I mean, I also had a 10 to 20 wide angle and um, used it a lot. Yeah. So. Well, we can see, we got to see that next time. All right. Yeah. We can. You're, you're going on trial next time. All right. <laughs> you'll, you'll uh, take revenge on me. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be brutal. Okay. This one, <laughs> this one. Uh, I think we look, we looked at this car in this spot from the, uh, from the side. That was from the, the side that, that I said might be an iPhone photo. Yeah. Is it? I don't think it's not because it's the same stupid 10 millimeter lens. I don't, which yeah. again, I keep talking bad about 10 millimeter lenses. Um, and I don't really they regret are. that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, they are, are not, bad for cars. I, I think they are bad for cars. Yes. <laughs> and many other things as well. Um, yeah. Wait, can I just uh, take over? Sure. This was same perspective, but like different car. Uh, I actually like, I like this shot. This was 2012. Uh, I like, like the badge is not completely in focus. That's a problem. Yeah. Uh, the windshield wiper arms focus all day long. Mm -hmm. um, editing. I don't like the, the color grading, but like, I like the perspective. It's like, I probably wouldn't do this now, but like, I like that. I thought to do this. You, yeah, and you need to crop just like a few pixels down from the top. Yeah, you don't like the box truck and uh, port tent. I just don't like the like the whatever that rail is. Yeah, I know it's part of the tent. Oh, it's, okay. it's, yeah, it's that. not good. I, I know, I know, I know. Okay, I'm gonna put you back. Oh, All okay. Right. Yeah, I, I mean, I think we're noticing a theme here. A lot of wide angles. Wide um, angles. A lot of wide angles. A lot of, I mean, you know, you can't blame yourself for, like, taking photos of cars parked in New York when you're living there. Um, but not not much, like, thought on the composition, really. Or at least maybe you were thinking about it, just not well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of filling the frame like it's kind of it, it's kind of makes sense within the frame uh yeah if you need to as far as, as far better than some of these other wide angle shots where it's like why is there that much ground there or something like that you know but yeah the dutch angle uh it's all it's a mess um ooh this this i uh scouting for zen asked do wide angle photos have any place in the car world i'm going to say maybe if you're like doing a an official product photo of an interior yeah or a manufacturer or something yeah okay there, there is a guy um there is a guy i think his name is like i twist on instagram that sounds familiar he, yeah. he shoots um he shoots uh wide angle iphone oh interesting and like, but he does it really creative. Uh, mm, I'm, I think I'm thinking of someone else. Okay, <laughs> I will post it in the comments. It's not, it's not that. But there's a guy who posts, like, he will frame a car really cool, like, through a fence or a hole in a bush, you know, and it'll be, like, a found car, and the car is, like, taking up a small part of the frame, but it's, mm -hmm. like, very smartly composed. And it's like, oh, this is extremely cool, like, use of the wide angle. Um, and, yeah, and like you said, like, interiors also wide angle is is good for that. Um, but, I mean, sometimes if it's too wide, I think even, like, a, I think even, like, a, like, a 10, you would get, like, so much headliner and stuff that you're, you know what I mean? Like, in order yeah, for you to 10, have, like, a pretty. 10 is pretty extreme. I mean, 10 is on a crop. That's on a crop sensor. So you, but, like, the. For a pro now, it'd be like a fourteen to twenty-four lens. Yeah, yeah. And you a four at fourteen would probably be too wide for most things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, All I right. think I think the the thing with with wide angles for you know those 
commenting and, and listening is with a car where like so many of the lines are either straight lines or like compute, you know, like they're designed lines, you begin distorting the proportions of the car, which distract from anything else in the photo. So if, yeah. if the car is just like a small part of a bigger, interesting composition, that's okay because it's like the correct shape in that little pocket of the photo. But as soon yeah. as it becomes the whole frame, it starts looking skewy and distorted. And um, and that's why also why you don't like take portraits of people with, with wide angle lenses either, because it just like starts distorting yeah. what we're all used to seeing in real life. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have that video about focal lengths and people occasionally will comment that they like, they like the way that it looks at like 14 or whatever, or mm -hmm. something, I, I don't know, it's, it's uh, people, um, you know, people, people can have a different aesthetic. I, my, my, I do not get satisfaction with shooting at a wide angle with cars. Um, but I think being deliberate about your choices is the most important thing. Like I yeah. want this look, I want to do this thing. I'm thinking about this. This is my composition. And I was not doing that. I was shooting like, this is the lens I have. This will look cool. I can get everything in the frame. Let's put it all in. So, right. um, yeah, so let's, let's keep going on this, this yeah. aura. So, so this one, um, again, I should have turned the wheel the other way. <laughs> I should have turned the wheel the other way. Um, but like, this is something I think we all fall into the trap of doing, which is you expose for the shadow side of the car, mm, which blows might have stopped out right the there. I might've done this <laughs> on purpose. No, but I mean, <laughs> but you did, you, you exposed for the, the red. Oh yeah, yeah. That's like that's what I'm saying. We all do, we all have done this, and like these days, if you shot a raw photo like this, you could recover the highlights. But I think it. I intentionally edited it in this overexposed way because this was in my uh, aforementioned magenta period. Okay. Well, <laughs> you did so with the shadow side of the car in mind. If the wheel was straight, I would and the ground was <laughs> visible, <laughs> I would I would maybe not hate the composition, even though it's weird, because um, your eye kind of leads into that dead space. Mm -hmm. um, or I don't, maybe you don't want the eye to lead in the dead space, but it, it is just kind of like weirdly balanced, I think-ish. I really, like that that roadway, you know, it goes from like gravel to road, that diagonal that is touching the car is like really bothering me. Yeah, 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 and that's something- I would have, I should have like stood lower, stood higher, or done something totally. else yeah. yeah all right what else you got this is just like you know not good not good comp this looks like an iphone photo also this was this was like iphone existed but i was on like the iphone one so i this was not iphone and this was pre-instagram but i was still like i went through a big square crop phase yeah you, you, <laughs> pre, you predated instagram with the I did, yeah. And yeah. you even did the film grain. I probably did. And I and also I, I made everything magenta and overexposed. Maybe you had a disposable camera and you just cropped it square. Um, let's go with that. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm trying what? to be gracious. <laughs> mm, you're doing a good job. Angel eyes, baby. Mm -hmm. Um, I actually I like the the reflection of the building in here. Yeah. And I think just a little more care on the composition and obviously like the weird editing stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it wouldn't be obviously. like, it would be a cool abstract photo with, with the. Building. Right. Like if there was a little more below the headlight. Yes. To, you know, to like, it would be because that, that part of the hood is cool and the headlight, like I like seeing the whole headlight. I would just like to see more. I also um, like how the, the mirror is, is flipped up. Yeah. And it's also reflecting a building. Like I actually, I kind of, um, yeah, I kind of like this one. Uh, other yeah. than like the, the fact that you're trying to photograph the angel eyes and that's like the last thing you see in the photo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Another one of this car. Yeah. I was so excited to see this car just street parked in the West Village. Can you believe it? Just Can you believe it? Um, yeah, 
it's a weird crop, which I was an unforced error because I was committed to the square. Right. <laughs> it's an MW. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah. Um, mm, All right. weird ass colors. The colors are so weird. The colors, colors way off, but I've taken, okay. Also the top left. Is <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, I know. <laughs> that drives me crazy. I know you don't care that much about it. What? Uh, no, I do. I didn't. I do now. <laughs> what, what's that supposed to mean? I know these sloppy details are fine for you, but I'm a bit of a perfectionist is what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just like you I think you do uh less like obsessive crop like cropping uh compared to me. Hmm, I don't know about that. Okay. What um, else you but got? I have I have taken I've taken a I don't know if it was an F50 now that I think about it. It might have been Oh yeah, I'm here. Let me pull up um this okay. photo, I I, right. I was at a car show that had an F fifty. Um. Yeah. Let me just leave. Oh, okay. That's a nine five nine. That is a nine five nine. Yeah. Wow. That was at the Techno Classica Essen show. Um. Uh, but you can yeah. see how I composed it clearly mu much better than. <laughs> Then, yeah, there's no corner edge there. Yeah, you, no, there would have been if you hadn't cropped to a square. That's true. Yeah, and the, I, I don't understand why the color is so weird, but also like muted, and it's one, too sharp. Yeah, my yeah, um, and yeah, too warm green. Who knows? Who knows what what you were doing? Maybe you were also yeah. still uh, using Adobe RGB. Uh, yeah, like you do now something like that. We'll talk about that um, in the next episode. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's the last one so I got. So is there any other questions? Like, I don't know what, oh, wow, you did that. I don't know what was, um, someone referenced Children of Men, and I don't remember which photo that was that we were talking about. But um, yeah, so you know what I want to do is I kind of want to like take these ones that, like, see if I can find the originals for these and like re-edit them and, and put them put them on Flickr and then we do this and talk about it. See and see if I can make them like up to your luck. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Um, so I think, I think that wraps this up. This is a lot of fun. Um, and if anyone has any questions, uh, they can put them in now, but I think we'll wrap up in a sec. Yeah. I, so, I had fun too. And I'm glad that, um, I mean, thanks for having me, of course. Um, but I, th I think it's, you know, we like laugh and joke and, and like make fun of you and, <laughs> like that. but, but it's, but it's like, you have to understand, like, it's important to see where even very, very talented, successful photographers like yourself have, have been. And, um, you know, you like, you didn't just start doing photography and suddenly have all the skill and attention to detail that you do now. It's been a very long right. road of like taking hundreds of thousands of photos and editing almost as many. And um, I think like you said, somewhere a lot of trial and error. So. Yeah, totally, totally. I, I think also like the things were different when I was learning, it was, it was like this kind of weird period for especially for like digital online photography and my influences were just not as strong, I guess. Like there was just stuff that I was just like, Oh, this is a cool look. This is a cool look. And I just wanted to emulate different things. And I kind of got really focused on like the editing more than, than, than quality uh, photography or quality, quality shooting and composition. Cause that was like, I felt like that was, I think, I think I felt like that was something I didn't, need to improve. Hmm. I feel like I felt I was already like, okay, I've got that. Cause I did take yeah. photography in college. So it's like, okay, well I can, I can go on and, I already and learned worry that. about the edits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know what I didn't know. It's just yeah. like a cliche, but it's true. Someone asked, what's the first, uh, Sean asked, what's the first lens to buy for car photos? And I would say 50, um, if you're on a, if you're on a 
full frame, like 35 if you're on a crop sensor. Like I think that's just I think it's just it's just really good. Just don't shoot wide open like I did for everything. But I mean you can get good details and you can get like if 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 you're at a car show, you can just like get crops and, and things. If you have your own car and you're like, I want to shoot my own car, like you can get interiors with it, you can get exteriors with it, you can get um, a, like it's so versatile and it forces you to move and look at things differently. Yeah, I think, and just from like a, a budget consideration, if you are, if you're asking that question, you know, two or $300 on a lens could seem like a lot even. And so, um, but like a 50, yeah, just to clarify what Kevin said, is, if you a have a full frame point. camera, get a 50 millimeter. If you have a crop sensor camera, then a 30 or 35 millimeter is the, be the equivalent, equivalent of that. Um, yeah. That's going to be like the most affordable and relatively versatile prime that will also let you shoot in challenging lighting situations too, which I think a lot of people just like kind of ignore. Mm -hmm. in in general and like hope that their kit lens will will cover for them but um yeah learning to shoot with that standard prime is is usually a, a good way to start but kevin what's your favorite car photography lens um i mean i'm i really like my 70 to 200 to 8 it's not the best like it, i i have not spent a lot of time with like a 105 prime or something like it, I the 70 to 200 is just like I'm just into it now if you've seen any of the other videos like I use it a lot but um I because I'm always preaching uh the 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 50 like I'm gonna do some 50 stuff maybe do like a video it's like a whole shoot with a 50 because I think it really is stellar it teaches you so much teaches you to move be on your feet like how to think about composition because you you can't include everything like you you have to make choices and that's critical. So do you have anything to add? I'm gonna, I think we're going to shut it down. All no, pressure no. on you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you so much, Daniel, Daniel Sloan. Um, I'll have his Instagram in the description. Um, and thanks everyone for, for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.